In this video I'm going to show you how you can make the most up out of your lenses and uh, get the sharpest possible results out of all your lenses. So every lenses that you have, uh, especially third part lenses, uh, is not spot on when you are using the autofocus. Some will focus uh, further behind the subject and some will uh, focus in front of the, the subject. And like I said, it, that will depend on which lenses you're using, and uh, especially if you're using a third-party lenses like, like Tamron or Sigma lenses, it's, uh, you can see that they are a little bit off. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. Uh, I'm going to show you on the, my Nikon D500. So I'm going to try to do it as understandable as possible, and hope you uh, follow along. The first thing that you need to do is you need to figure out which distance you are um, usually uh, photographing your main subject. So for me it's uh, about from 5 to 15 meters, so I'm calibrating my lenses in 10 meters in between. I just placed the calibrator in 10 meters and you can see that on top of the lens uh, they show the, the distance um, and then you can start calibrating. When you're calibrating the lenses, there are a few things that you need to think of. Uh, the one thing is that if you have zoom lenses, you need to calibrate it in um, the longest range. And you also need to uh, calibrate it with um, full opening on the f-stop. So in my case here, I'm calibrating my 300 2.8, so I need to have it on 2.8 and calibrate it at this as well. So if you have, for example, the Tamron or the Sigma, uh, in the longest range in 600 it's 6.3 then you need it to calibrate it on the 6.3 and uh, the camera will store the uh, the things that you have calibrated so you don't need to worry about that and also if you are using uh, the teleconverter you also need to calibrate it with the teleconverter and without the teleconverter so um, first I'm uh, calibrating this lens here without the teleconverter and then I do it with and I, when I have the teleconverter, this is going to be a f4, so I needed to calibrate it in f4. Okay, let's dive into it. So, you need to go into the menu, and you need to go into the register, and you, go, you need to go to AF Fine Tune. When you click in here, you can see that I uh, have this turned on, uh, AF uh, Fine Tune and the saved value here. When you are uh, going into this first time it's gonna be zero. So I have already calibrated this lens here but I'm gonna show you uh, I gotta just remove it to 0, 0.0 and I can show you afterwards. So when you start it up it will be here on the 0, 0.0 as you see here oops as you see here uh, and I'm going to start at this point here, press OK, and I go into uh, the setting, and I have the lowest ISO as possible. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to focus on uh, another thing in, uh, in, uh, in the background or something, and then focus back in the middle of the calibrator. So I'm going to take one picture. So you can see here in uh, the uh, the six in this end here, and the six in this end here is not even unsharp. Uh, therefore, it's focusing more on the background. So if I'm using this standard uh, setting, uh, my pictures is actually going to focus a little bit behind the subject. So if I'm focused on the head of a bird or a animal. Uh, it's not pin sharp at the eye which I'm uh, shooting at and pointing at. Which means I need to uh, go and fine tune it so both of the six numbers, the six number here and the six number here, is going to be even blurry. So then I go into the menu again and fine tune and go to save value. And I just need to uh, take a lot of pictures to try 
I usually start to try with uh, minus 5 and take a picture and check. So let's go to 11, like I have, uh, have uh, done before, and take another picture. So you can see that my 6 here and my 6 up in the top is even blurry. And then the zero here is pin char. The thing is that the sixers just need to be even and balance um, blurry. And then you are spot on. This is really easy to do. Uh, and uh, the calibrator is not that um, expensive as well. So I'm going to leave a link in the description below. You can check it out uh, if you want to buy one. Uh, really great to have when you're getting new lenses. Uh, and uh, maybe a teleconverter as well so you need to calibrate your lenses because you are using uh, much money on the lenses so they need to make you need to make the most of uh, the sharpness that the lens they have so uh, yeah good luck so I hope this helped you and get the best out of your lenses if you have some questions just leave them in the comments down below I will try to answer them as good as possible uh, but until next time, I will see you guys. Bye.